So hi and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install some software for the Zowie mouse range. This is so you can control the side buttons because as standard you can't remap these keys because the Zowie mouse don't come with any software. If you want to check out a review on this, I'll put a link in the description as well, which I've done for this mouse. This is the ZA11. So what we need to do is go and download something called X mouse button. So if you just type in Google X mouse button or I'll put the link in the description, Go to the second link here and then just click download. Once downloaded, install it as you would do any other software. It should be in your downloads folder if you don't on Windows. Click agree, click next, click next. Software package will install. So once the software is installed, if you double click X mouse here, you'll now launch the program. So the button numbering on this Zari mouse is number one is the left mouse button. Number three is the scroll wheel press down. Number two is the right mouse button. Number five is the front side button. And number four is the rear side button. And that applies to both the left and the right hand side. They are identical. Both of those two are mapped to the same. And both of the front ones are mapped to the same key. So as you can see here in this software, you get left, right mouse button, front, back, basically four and five. You've got wheel up and down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do basically map the side buttons. The rest of the ones I'll let you map. The map is exactly the same. If we go to the top one here and try to map it, you can see I'm pushing the front. So we're going to map that. Again, remember it's button five, not four. You've got a lot of different options here. You can see all these different things you're going to assign to it, basically tab, alt, media keys, whatever you want. They're predefined. If you want to just map a keyboard key to it, if you go to simulated key, and basically we're going to push E and then just push OK. You can put description if you wish at the bottom here. Click OK, click apply. And now, if you then go to Notepad and push the front button here, you'll see mine's set to right-handed mouse and E is working. If you want the other button to work, you need to trigger it to a left-handed mouse. And in order to do that, you need to hold down button one and three when you plug in the mouse. To map the number four button, we're gonna do that, which is the rear one. Go simulate the key and push F. Press OK, click apply, and we've now got F and E on the side buttons. That's it. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you want me to show you something else. And until the next one, I'll catch you all again. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.